to wear it with shorts. It's obviously quite, quite long. You're not going to see your shorts. It'll look like you don't have pants on. So you can either flip it up under, flip it up under in the back. You've already shortened it. Or, what I like to do, pull it off to the side and then just knot it. And then you have this cute little knot. You can make sure the fabric is all folded over itself and adjust it where you want it. You can play with the hemline if you want to make that side lower. You have to do all sorts of things. Or you can also tuck it under and you've got some fabric that you can ruche if you want. Just play with it. So that's the first way. Another way, now I'm going to take this off to show this to you. You want to flip it inside out and take like a hair tie or a rubber band. I've got a hair tie right here. And if you hold it up like this around the middle of the back, like right here, you're going to pinch and almost create like you want a ponytail with your hair. And then you want to tie your rubber band or whatever you have around it pretty tight, actually. Because when you put it on, it's going to try and stretch and pull out of the hair tie or rubber band. So you want to make sure it's pretty tight. And then flip it right side out. Alright, so this is what the front looks like. And then the back's going to look like this before you put it on. Then, you put it on. And now this isn't going to be perfectly in the middle of my back because I was holding it up against the wall. But, it'll be close enough. You can see what I'm talking about. But it gathers the fabric so you have a little bit of shape in here. And then the back is just... So yeah, I did it a little high there. But, you get the idea. You might be, I usually do it a little bit lower, like right in here instead of up this high, but this far as it gets the wall. So, that's to give your arm a little bit more shape or shorten it if you're wearing shorts. Next thing we're going to do is play with it for the summer weather. And instead of putting it on the normal way, you're gonna put it over your head and put your arms up through. Don't be worried about stretching out the neckline because the neckline's really stretchy. And when you get it around your chest, adjust a little bit. It sits pretty perfectly around your chest area for strapless shirt. Now, your arm holds are hanging here, and you don't want to leave the hang right? So you can either tie them around the front for a cute little bow, and it gives you that kind of shape. Or you can take them and tie them around the back. I like to tie mine a little bit lower. And this is what it looks like in the front. Cute little summer dress. But you got it lower in the back because that high low hem. And it's nice enough for summer to be warm. Or you can wear it as a baby suit cover up. Okay, now the last thing we're going to do is turn it into a halter top. So you still got it around your chest here. You want to take the sleeves by the top part, pull them together, and then hold them. And you can again use a hair tie or like a clear elastic if you have one of those. And tie them together. You can take this that you just used, pull it over your head, and you've got a cute little heart halter top look. Perfect for the summer time. But it's shorter in the front. You can wear the shorts or whatever you want. If you want leggings, it still covers you. But it's nice and summery. And you can stay cool. All right, that's all I got for you for Irma Tips. Um, I'll see you next week. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will talk at you later. Bye. <laughs> I am now. All right. A little long still to cover the butt, but we'll fly. Cover the butt's butt. <laughs>